I just talked to a man who said that mermaids have been spotted on this very beach. But first, I should go back. I came to the Dominican Republic in September of 2023 to preach on some YouTube channels. Once I finished that, I took a small vacation in the northern part of this country. My first stop, Las Galeras, a small but beautiful town in Samana. And on my last night in Las Galeras, a man came up to me as I was walking in the local beach. This man had grown up in this town, near the ocean. And from the moment I met him, I sensed something was not right about him. I felt a lot of dark energy emanating from him. During that trip, I made sure to pray, fast, and read the Bible regularly, so my discernment level was pretty strong. When he approached me, I felt the need to leave that place. But he kept talking and I didn't want to be rude, so I stayed and listened to him. Soon, the conversation began to steer toward the ocean and its hidden mysteries. It was then that I asked him if he had ever seen any strange creatures in the ocean. His face became serious and he nodded. So I asked him, have you seen any mermaids here? To which he responded, yes, there is a mermaid that appears here on the beach almost every morning. I can take you to meet her if you want. I just shook my head, chuckling softly, saying, no, I don't want to meet that thing. And he said, why not? She's a nice mermaid, and she's very beautiful, with long blonde hair. But I just said, no, that's okay. I've heard stories about them. They're water demons. They can't be trusted. And he said, no, she won't hurt you. Meet me here in the morning around 8 a.m., and I'll bring you to her. She comes to this very beach. And the thing is, this man was so persistent about this. He really wanted to take me to that mermaid which reminded me of the stories I heard from Haitian YouTubers, people who had left Haiti. Many mentioned how in their country, it's common to see these mermaids, these marine spirits, water demons, who sometimes pull people into the water. Sometimes those people are eaten. Sometimes humans are held captive in their marine kingdom where they become personal servants to those water demons. But, Sometimes, humans call upon these water spirits to make packs with them, to obtain money, fame, or special powers. In return, they have to bring human offerings to those marine spirits. They have to bring people. And as this man kept insisting that I should meet this mermaid, I sensed that was exactly what he was trying to do with me. I was the human offering he wanted to give. But thank the Lord, he eventually left me alone and I hurried back to my hotel room. And while I was in Santo Domingo, I spoke to a man from Haiti. In Haiti, he had heard many stories about mermaids from friends, family, and neighbors, whom had experiences with those marine spirits. Later on, at the end of my trip, I visited the town of Las Terrenas. And while I was walking alone in Anclon Beach, I came across two men who were catching crabs and picking yucca so they could make a soup right there on the beach using seawater. When I approached them to look at the crabs, they generously invited me to lunch with them. And as we ate, I mentioned those two stories to them. They also confirmed that mermaids are real, but they told me mermaids are not seen much in the Dominican Republic. They said mermaids are mostly seen in Haiti because so many people there practice witchcraft and voodoo. They said that when a country is steeped in witchcraft and voodoo, the veil between the spiritual realm and the earthly realm is torn apart, allowing people to see those demonic spirits more frequently. They also said the country of Haiti was in shambles and poverty due to all the voodoo and witchcraft so many people practiced there. As those two men spoke, I ate my food in silence, reflecting on their words, realizing there's still so much about the spiritual realm that we don't know about. But my soul remained hopeful as I remembered the words Elisha told a servant in 2 Kings 6.16. Don't be afraid. Those who are with us are more than those who are with them. As believers, we should never be afraid of the enemy. He has already been defeated on the cross. And as for us, 
we have the King of Kings and Lord of Lords on our side, ready to fight and protect us at all times. Also, I want to invite you to a fasting chain I'm organizing. It starts January 1st, 2024 and will end December 31st, 2024. I will be fasting daily to ensure the fasting chain does not break, but you can fast one or two days each week or one or two days each month. More people means more power unleashed to us, so please join us. Fasting changed my life and I believe it will change yours. Here are the two main petitions for the fasting chain. Number one, for God to save, deliver, heal, bless, protect, and guide everyone in this chain. And for God to never erase our names from the book of life so we can spend eternity in heaven with our Savior Jesus Christ. The second petition is for God to answer all the petitions presented to me by other people in comments and emails. Those are the two main petitions we'll be praying and fasting for, but you can add more petitions when you fast. Please make sure to write down your petitions in the comments or email them to me so I can pray and fast for them during this fasting chain. And if you're interested in learning more about spiritual warfare, fasting, and how to interpret your dreams, please check out my book, The Last Weapon, Fasting One Year. Links in the description. And that's all I have for today. I'll be sharing more dreams, visions, and revelations here on this channel. So please like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more. God bless you, and I'll see you in the next video.